MAF operates over 120 light aircraft in more than 30 countries of the developing world. Every three minutes an MAF plane takes off or lands, providing access to isolated communities for whom flying is not a luxury, but a lifeline. MAF has been operating in Haiti since 1986. Our response following the January 2010 earthquake was therefore immediate. In the three months following the earthquake, our aircraft carried 1,800 passengers, 158 tons of cargo and made over 1,000 landings. The MAF hangar at Port-au-Prince was used as a communications and logistics center for numerous organizations and tons of essential aid. Our planes flew non-stop with a team of pilots on rotation. Disaster response activities are only a small part of how we serve. The need experienced by many who are isolated and remote often remains hidden. MAF serves to reach these people with help and hope. I just want to say thank you to um, uh, MAF for all the flying all over Haiti, uh, helping the people. Dr. Mann leads the work of Good News Hospital in Mandritsara, Madagascar. MEF have served us from the very beginning. When we first came here on a visit, and we came with MEF to look at the possibility of starting a work here. The road journey to the capital is slow and difficult. Everything has had to come by MEF, everybody and everything. MAF has helped us a lot in transporting fragile equipment, things that need to be kept cold, especially things that we need urgently. We've been very grateful for MAF. Patients journey usually on foot for up to three days to reach the hospital. The nearest alternative is 124 miles away. Eye problems are common. Dr. Hanitra is the only eye surgeon in a very large area. With MAF's assistance, she has led medical teams in visits to remote villages. This young mother, heavily pregnant, walked two days to reach the hospital. She previously gave birth in her village, but the babies died during labor. This time she came to the hospital to ensure a safe delivery. There's a lot of children die during childbirth out in the villages um, where there's no adequate uh, maternal care. So here she is, uh, she's happy this time with her baby. So wouldn't that have Well, it's this. I just asked her what the name of the baby is, but they haven't chosen the name for the baby yet. That's still coming. It's a little girl. In Bangladesh, it is the dominance of water that imposes isolation on rural communities, where 75% of the population live. Chad Tilly, MAF program manager in Bangladesh, shares about the work. As you can see, we have a caravan amphibian. We have over 8,000 kilometers of uh, rivers in the country, so the amphibian is a great aircraft and a great tool. MAF is able to help during the floods and during the cyclone seasons to help transport aid and relief workers uh, literally anywhere in the country. So that allows people to access the country within less than an hour compared to about 16 hour drive. We provide a domestic on-call medevac service within the country. People in outlying uh, rural areas can call us up and we can transport patients to hospitals. There was a flight that we did a while ago. We have a, a medevac request and the gentleman's downstairs and he said, I have a family member who just had a baby and the baby is dying. I've seen your hangar from across the field. I've seen that it says flying for life. I've seen that you're here to help people in the country. 
and uh, can you help me? So we took off and we flew towards the south, and as I looked out over this vast river network of rivers stretching in every direction, I had the bad feeling that we were never going to find this person. I said a silent prayer to God, and I said, God, please help us. We looked down, we could see some red flags. When we landed, we pulled into the river bank. Thousands of people came out from the uh, rural village, and I could see the family coming with the, the baby that they were holding in their arms. And as the boat came with the mother and the father, and the mother handed me the baby. And as I stood there with this baby in my arms, literally in front of thousands of people, I realized what trust that she has in us, because she just basically gave me her most pre precious treasure on earth. And as I began um, to think more about it, I really believe in helping them when they need help, being there in good times and bad times for these people. In Tanzania, Oliver, with her 11-month-old daughter Zelina, are typical of the thousands of people we help to reach in isolated communities. They benefit from the monthly medical clinics held in Madundas, made possible because MAF flies the medical team in. Thank you.